again. Good people will suffer. Honestly, arresting believers again? Good people are going to suffer. Don't they have better things to do? It's ridiculous. Good people are going to suffer. Do? Hey, what's going on? What's that notice about? It's about suppressing religious belief. They're going to start arresting the faithful. Aren't God's teachings all about being good? Why arrest people like that? <sighs> really? I don't get it at all. Hey! Look over there! There's a reward, too! For turning in people practicing illegal faiths in churches. We're talking about the government here. You can't listen. Who knows what the story is? But this notice is about suppressing churches. <sighs> They're persecuting people of faith again. Why is the CCP always doing things like this? It's unbelievable. What's so strange about it? It's been years. The CCP's always suppressed churches and restricted freedom of religion. That's, That's true. true. This is the CCP. They've done nothing good for years. Sure don't. They don't arrest criminals or corrupt officials. They just go after good people of it's faith. It's despicable. If this continues, it's all over. Society will unravel. You're totally right. You ask me. He's right. This whole country is doomed. Really? It's terrible. Don't they have uh, bigger problems? Who knows what they're thinking? <sighs> But this comes from so high up. Something's going on. You can't believe in God or do good works. Not in China. Right. The yeah. CCP mm. government mm. really is evil. Mm. Mm. So evil. Guijun, sister, the government has labeled the Eastern Lightning as an illegal cult. This crackdown is severe. You can't keep this up. You'll be asking for trouble if you don't stop. Guifeng, the CCP are atheists. No one opposes God or hates the truth more. They've designated all groups that believe in the true God as illegal cults. Also, they've openly labeled the Bible as a cult book. This is public knowledge. Don't you already know this? Besides, We've suffered so much over the years, just for believing in Jesus. It's true, Guifang. Many have been tortured to death or jailed, preachers and Christians all over. That's not enough? How can you still believe the government's rumors? How should a good religion be distinguished from cults? And a party shouldn't decide that, or politicians without reason. And neither should a country or a constitution. A good religion is positive. It benefits mankind. But cults are negative and terrible things. They corrupt mankind. If people want to know if it's a good religion or a cult, they should look at what it produces, whether it's positive or negative. If it comes from God or God's work, a church like that is the true way, a good religion. And what comes from Satan or the work of evil spirits, those are evil cults. The CCP is a satanic regime. It opposes God and hates the truth. The CCP is the real cult here. They aren't qualified to comment on faith, much less qualified to condemn any groups or churches that believe in God. That's right. The CCP opposes God and persecutes Christians. You know the history well. Sister, this is all something I know. However, the government's persecution of the Eastern Lightning is crueler than with other churches. Guifang, aren't we persecuted for believing in the Lord Jesus? As he once said, Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Guifang, only those who accept Almighty God's end-time work can receive his blessings and promises. Adversity reveals a person's true nature. If we let ourselves become too afraid to either investigate or accept the true way, then we'll lose the blessings and promises of God. Doesn't the Revelation say the fearful will not enter the kingdom of heaven? 
This satanic CCP regime suppresses the Eastern Lightning most severely. It just goes to show they fear the truth and hate God. For all these years, house and underground churches in this country have all been condemned and persecuted and hunted down too. Should we deny that Lord Jesus is the true God in the true way because of this hardship? Guifang, you've held this faith for years. Can't you see it? The CCP distorts the facts and confuses black with white. That's the very essence of Satan. Can you still not tell the difference between what's a cult and what's a good religion? Those that believe in the true God are good religions. Trusting false gods and Satan and believing in evil spirits, that's what cults do. Cults advocate atheism, evolution, and other such heresies and fallacies, all which deny and resist God. Right now, the CCP persecutes and attacks the Eastern Lightning most. The whole world sees what's going on. If one can really see truth, then by looking at Satan's regime, what it opposes most, what it hates most, one will ascertain where the true way is found. The okay. CCP hates the truth most. They fear people accepting the truth. That's why they resist God so ferociously. In the last days, only Almighty God expresses the truth and saves man. It's Almighty God alone who does the work of saving and purifying mankind. Isn't what I'm saying a fact beyond doubt? From this we can see why the CCP hates the Church of Almighty God so fiercely and resists God so. All who wait for the Lord should look around with open eyes and see who does the work of judgment in the last days. Sister, Guijun, the CCP indeed opposes God and is of Satan. But they've also said that people who reject the Eastern Lightning will have their ears cut and their eyes gouged. Isn't that rumor enough evidence for you? You can find churches just about everywhere now. Believers in Almighty God are everywhere. If what they say were really true, how many people in China would be missing their ears and eyes today? There would be hundreds of thousands or millions. But have they found even one case of that? If there were one, wouldn't the CCP and all the media under its control spread it all over the world? He's right. That's proof enough. What the CCP says is nothing but lies. It's all rumors, all false accusations. What the CCP government says isn't trustworthy at all. It's clear you know much too little about those liars. Even now, you haven't seen through their true substance. It's Satan the devil. It's God's enemy. You're a long-time believer, yet you're still so blind. You're much too ignorant, much too muddle-headed. Guifang, those are rumors fabricated by the CCP. How can you still believe the CCP's lies? Brother, I know your faith in God is stronger than ours. You're unlikely to have made the wrong choice. I'm just wondering, if the Eastern Lightning is the true way, why is the CCP government so against them? Why do religious leaders condemn them with such fervor? Hmm. Right, Brother Zhang. I don't see why either. The pastors and elders receive government persecution too. So when they tell us about the Eastern Lightning, why would such servants of God have the same opinions and attitudes as those the CCP are promoting? What's the reason behind this? 
That's right. We all really want to understand these questions. Hmm. All right. Ping An, sister, the Bible says the whole world lies in wickedness. The Lord Jesus too said that this was an evil generation. So, to what extent has the world now become evil and dark? In the age of grace, the incarnate Lord Jesus, who came to redeem mankind, was nailed to the cross by the religious world and those in power. Then, in the last days, when Almighty God expresses the truth, He's also condemned by both the religious world and the CCP, rejected by this age. This fulfills the Lord Jesus' words: "For as the lightning that lightens out of the one part under heaven." Shines to the other part under heaven. So shall also the Son of Man be in his day. But first must he suffer many things and be rejected of this generation. This prophecy of the Lord Jesus has now been fulfilled. All those who thirst for God's appearing should find it clear: the Lord has arrived and is doing the work of judgment. Right. The Lord Jesus' prophecy is already fulfilled. Are any people still unclear or in denial? Jesus' prophecy of the Son of Man's coming does seem to be fulfilled. This way is worth investigating. It is. When the Lord did His redemptive work, the religious world did indeed collude with the Roman government to crucify the Lord. In the last days, when Almighty God comes to work, He's condemned and persecuted by the religious world and the CCP. Why is it each time God incarnate comes, He's condemned and resisted by religious circles as well as the world? It just shows us that the world is too dark and evil. Hmm. Brothers and sisters, this atheistic regime and most religious leaders are Satan's forces. They hate God and hate the truth. The Lord Jesus' betrayal, as well as cruel crucifixion, is proof of that fact. You see, the true way will always be rejected and condemned by godless regimes and the religious world. What's more, those who preach and practice the true way will always face persecution and slander. As the Lord Jesus said, "If the world hate you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world would love his own. But because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hates you, and it's for this reason." That through all ages, those who can accept and follow the true way and the true God, are that small portion of humankind who love and pursue the truth. While most people, because they follow Satan's forces or fear persecution, dare not seek the true way, so they lose their chance to receive God's salvation. Right. That's why the Lord Jesus once warned, "Enter you in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the way." That leads to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way, which leads to life, and few there be that find it. What they're saying is practical and reasonable. It is. If the eastern lightning is the true way, how can you prove that assertion? Our faith in Jesus is because Jesus can redeem us all. What proof do you have to show that the Eastern Lightning is the true way? Right.、Mm. You're asking a very good question. To answer it, I suggest we read two passages and see how Almighty God phrased、right. it. Page twelve hundred eighty-one. Almighty God says, "What is the most basic principle in seeking the true way?" You have to look at whether or not there is the work of the Holy Spirit, whether or not these words are the expression of the truth, who is testified, and what it can bring you. To study such a thing is not difficult, but requires each of us to know this truth: He who is God's incarnation shall hold the substance of God. And he who is God's incarnation shall hold the expression of God, since God becomes flesh. He shall bring forth the work he must do, and since God becomes flesh, he shall express what he is, and shall be able to bring the truth to man.
bestow life upon man and show man the way. Flesh that does not contain the substance of God is surely not the incarnate God. Of this there is no doubt. To investigate whether it is God's incarnate flesh, man must determine this from the disposition he expresses and the words he speaks. Which is to say, whether or not it is God's incarnate flesh and whether or not it is the true way must be judged from his substance. And so, in determining whether it is the flesh of God incarnate, the key is to pay attention to his substance, his works, his words, his disposition, and many more, rather than external appearance. Brothers and sisters, the true way is the work done by God. Since that's God's own work, there will be an expression of the truth and the Holy Spirit's work. We testify the Eastern Lightning as the true way, and Almighty God is in fact the incarnate God. This is because Almighty God has come to express various truths, and He judges and purifies mankind, right? and accomplishes His plan of purifying and saving man in the last days, Looking further, we should read what else Almighty God says. When God becomes flesh this time, His work will be to express His disposition primarily through chastisement and judgment. Using this as the foundation, He brings more truths to man, shows more ways of practice, and so achieves His objective of conquering man and saving man from His corrupt disposition. This is what lies behind the work of God in the Age of Kingdom. Through this work of judgment and chastisement, man will fully come to know the filthy and corrupt substance within him, and he will be able to completely change and become clean. Only in this way can man be worthy to return before the throne of God. All the work done this day is so that man can be made clean and be changed. Through judgment and chastisement, by the word as well as refinement, man can cast away his corruption and be made pure. Rather than deeming this stage of work to be that of salvation, it would be more apt to say it is the work of purification. Brothers and sisters, in the last days, Almighty God expresses the truth to judge and purify all. He has expressed all the truths for mankind to know God and to find salvation, disclosing each and every mystery of His management plan, like the purpose of His 6,000 years of management, His working principles, His three stages of work, the mystery and significance of His incarnation, how man has developed up till today, our future destination, the truth of the Bible, and the significance of His names. All these are mysteries that we can't fathom. In Almighty God's words, mankind's corrupt substance as well as roots are both thoroughly revealed. In the severe judgment of God's words, we have true understanding of our own corruption and ugliness, our conceit and baseness. Yes, that was well said, don't you think? Meanwhile, we understand the truth, have true knowledge of God's righteous disposition, and know how to fear God, which changes our life disposition to different degrees, and gradually delivers us from the fallen cycle of sin and confession. Yes. Right. And this fully proves that Almighty God's work mm -hmm. is the true way. Amen. Almighty God's word is the truth, the way, and the life. It has authority and power. Amen. It can purify men and save them. If not, what then? Who can help man break away from sin? Right. right. That's Besides very true. God, who else can reveal thousand year old mysteries? Mm. Praise the Lord. There's indeed truth in Almighty God's Word. No wonder so many people believe. Right. Only God is the truth, the way, and the life. Only God can bestow the way of eternal life upon man. Only by accepting the truth expressed by Christ of the last days can we find eternal salvation. Right. 
Now let's read more of Almighty God's words. 1459. Ping An, Gui Fang. Let's read God's word. Oh, sisters, you as well. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Lord. Almighty God says, God Himself is life and the truth, and His life and truth coexist. Those who are incapable of gaining the truth shall never gain life. Without the guidance, support, and provision of the truth, you shall only gain letters, doctrines, and moreover death. God's life is ever present, and His truth and life coexist. If you cannot find the source of truth, then you will not gain the nourishment of life. If you cannot gain the provision of life, then you will surely have no truth. And so apart from imaginations and conceptions, the entirety of your body shall be nothing but flesh, your stinking flesh. Know that the words of books do not count as life. The records of history cannot be fetid as the truth. And the doctrines of the past cannot serve as an account of words presently spoken by God. Only that which is expressed by God when He comes to earth and lives among man is the truth, life, God's will, and His actual manner of working. Hmm. That was a good passage. Christ of the last days brings life and brings the enduring and everlasting way of truth. This truth is the path through which man shall gain life and the only path by which man shall know God and be approved by God. If you do not seek the way of life provided by Christ of the last days, then you shall never gain the approval of Jesus, and shall never be qualified to enter the gate of the kingdom of heaven. For you are both a puppet and prisoner of history. Those who are controlled by regulations, by letters, and shackled by history will never be able to gain life, and will never be able to gain the perpetual way of life. That is because all they have is turbid water that has lain stagnant for thousands of years, instead of the water of life that flows from the throne. Those who are not supplied with the water of life will forever remain corpses, playthings of Satan, and sons of hell. The Lord Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and... But whoever drinks of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. Today, Almighty God also says that he has the water of life that flows from the throne and the way of eternal life. The source of these words is the same one. This does sound like God's word and God's voice. Nobody else could speak such words. Amen. Right. Exactly. If we hadn't listened, we never would have realized this the pastors and elders slander the Eastern Lightning. But it isn't like that. There's real truth in their preaching. These words are very good. Yes. Better than the pastors and elders. If we had not listened today, we'd still be blinded by their preaching. Yes, thank That's God. That's right. This is the first time I've heard Almighty God's words too. Right. And what was said is practical and very clear. The Eastern Lightning's preaching is quite good. We should listen to it more in the future. It seems the pastors and elders really did blind us. Exactly. Brothers and sisters, Almighty God's word and work is salvation that God grants to mankind and the only path for us to be saved in the last days. Right. The Bible says, what's of God will increase and what's of man will decrease. Today, 20 years after Almighty God began his work on earth, God's kingdom gospel, despite resistance and persecution from the CCP and the religious world, is still as irresistible as the mighty tide. That's right. Right now, it's spreading throughout mainland China, as well as through other countries across the world. Nowadays, it's in all nations, all places, and spreading further. 
More and more who thirst for God's appearance are making their way back to Almighty God's family. Amen. Almighty God's kingdom gospel, despite oppression, has spread to all corners of the earth. It's proof of the Holy Spirit's work. Amen. Mm, that's right. This fulfills the word, what is of God will increase, and testifies that Almighty God is the Lord Jesus' return. The Eastern Lightning is the true way. Of course. What is of God will increase. What's of man will decrease. If not for the Holy Spirit's work or the truth, what else could have made the Eastern Lightning's rapid growth possible? That's right. All the sects grow more desolate in the last days, while the Eastern Lightning continues to grow. So is Almighty God the returned Lord? That's right. We should look into this thoroughly. If the Lord has returned to Earth and we don't accept, won't we become the ones who resist God? Right. Thank the Lord. Hmm. Let's read some more words of Almighty God. Oh, All right. Sure. right. Residents, your attention. Anyone found practicing Christianity privately at home or meeting illegally should be reported immediately. Any preachers entering the community from other areas should be detained and handed over to the police immediately. Let's all hide our books for the moment. Anyone who is found practicing or preaching the Eastern Lightning should be immediately reported to the police and will be arrested. Uh oh, let's get out of here. What now? Sister, calm down. Such a sudden announcement means we were probably seen when we entered the area. Right. Or that someone reported us. It's dangerous to go out now. They have men searching oh. the community. Have you seen any Eastern Lightning They'll be followers? questioning any strangers they see. That's right. If you leave now, you'll likely be caught and questioned by the police, especially since you two are strangers. If they're discovered to be preachers, they'll be sentenced and imprisoned. We have no choice but to think of a different way out. Right. Strangers have recently been seen entering our community. Please keep an eye on your neighbors. We need a way out. If they search door to door, we'll be in trouble. Yeah. Calm down, everyone. God is almighty. This is all part of God's plan. He'll allow us to find a way. Right. Where there is God's work, there's Satan's disturbance, too. The CCP demon resists heaven and God's will. They persecute God's work. It's despicable. Right. Despicable. Right. Here in China, believing in the true God and being good takes such courage. This country's full of darkness. Right. Brothers and sisters, as followers of God, we have to bear this. Believing in God in a country that's against Him means we could all be caught in jail. Right. Saints living in past ages suffered this, and we suffer it now. Mm. If we are captured, accepted, and submit, we should endure the pain. Absolutely. Drink from the bitter cup, as He did, without any complaint. Mm. Now let us pray. May God strengthen our faith. Mm. Let us pray and ask the Lord for strength. Thank, Thank the, the Lord. Lord.